Uh, let's go into the kitchen now where we've got a lot to talk about, Michael White. We do indeed. we got Philip Petronas from Pirates Bar and Grill with us. We also got Gene Fox, part of the Dauphin Island Town Council. Big Phil's traditional wing sauce is something we're going to be putting together, right? Yes, sir. We're going to throw together a, a traditional buffalo sauce, just something quick and easy you can do at home. Uh, We've been cooking it for, you know, my 30 years of life. My dad did it, and we're, it's just the same way. It's something quick and easy to, to do. And I assume, great on wings. And I assume people love it. Yeah, we sell a lot of them. We do a wing night every Wednesday night on Dolphin Island, live music. Uh, we got a pool area downstairs, and uh, we, we sell out. We do a ton of wings down there, and uh, all house-made sauces. It's great. Good stuff. I love it. Well, let's get it started right now. All right. What's the first? Sides with Sounds you. good. While you're doing that, I'm going to check in here with Gene. It's been a while since we've gotten to chat, Gene. How's life on the island? It's fantastic. It's a little rainy this morning. Just a tad, right? It, yeah. And uh, but but we're still above water. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's a, that makes for a good day, right? It does. Now uh, you have an event coming up, right? We do. So the this is the fourth annual uh, Little Red Schoolhouse Chili and Wing Cook-Off. All the, the proceeds benefit Dolphin Island Elementary. And uh, we cook chili and wings, and we have a third category, which is the um, whatevs or whatever Foxes, you want to cook. Whatever. Uh, whatever. whatever. <laughs> Actually, it's the uh, the chastity whatever. The chastity whatever. We named it after I her. <laughs> yeah. Her um, spirit still remains in the studio with us to this day. As seen on Studio Ten. As seen on Studio Ten. You bet. So uh, just a, a wide variety of fun things to eat, live music, kids activities. It's a, it's always a good time and and a good fundraiser for the school as well. That's and, wonderful. And uh, there, uh, Phillips nice enough to host it over at Pirates, which is right on the Gulf of Mexico. You can walk out on the beach. Oh. And uh, hopefully January. January 19th will be one of those springtime, winter <laughs> days, <laughs> good days. You know, we, you know, we know in January you usually get either one of two things. You either get rain or you get cold. But there is always that chance that we, it's going to be you know, bright, sunny, and 70. We've seen that before, too. But regardless, it's a rain or shine event, right? That's right. right and, but you know what? On. Sometimes, uh, even if it's cold, it's a good day to eat chili and wings. You know what? That makes a lot of sense because that will warm you up in a hurry. But just smelling this aroma, of Philip, that you're, you've already started, Started, just makes me start thinking of football games about yeah, to start wings, because yeah. that is my I was telling uh, Eric Jean during one of the commercials that uh, he was asking if I do anything special when the games are on I say yeah I order a ton of wings yeah. so that's, right. my, that's my that's my thing I love doing that so this event is coming up January you said 19th January 19th from 11 to 2 and what does it cost to go it's ten dollars so uh, we're gonna have the tickets online uh, right after the first or you can uh, you can just walk up and buy them on event day and you can find all the uh, all the information at piratesbarandgrill.com. That's awesome. We'll link that, of course, to our website. And uh, what are your hours on a typical day down there at Pirates? So during the off season, uh, November, December, January, we're running uh, Monday through Thursday lunch and dinner. On the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we open up at seven for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, and then the hours crank up once you hit summertime. Yeah, around March first, we open up the pool area, the downstairs. We really get the live music going three times or so a week. Um, and we'll go six days a week, closed on Tuesdays, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, 7 to 9 p.m. Yes, so sir. if you've been to the island and you haven't been down there, you need to make sure you take a trip down to Pirates Bar and Grill because uh, right there on the Gulf you can get some good food and walk right down there onto the water. And we're going to also check in more about this, uh, this big event coming up on January the 19th later in the hour as well. And all the info will be on Fox10TV.com right under the Studio 10 tab. Joe? Back in the kitchen with Philip from Pirates Bar and Grill and Gene Fox with the Dolphin Island Town Council. Great to see you guys as always. Great Thanks for having you, us. And we're always uh, happy when you come and you bring food and drink and it just makes the whole thing more merry. Thanks, hey. guys. <laughs> it's, a par it's a party in here, y'all. So, uh, Philip, tell the folks a little bit about those wings that we're seeing out there. So the sauce, like I was telling you, is a pretty basic sauce. You want to start out with a saucepan on medium heat. Yeah. Uh, you're going to go in with a little olive oil and then start out with some minced garlic. You're going to add some melted butter and then any sauce. So we use a Louisiana hot sauce and you just okay. add and blend it up until it comes to a good thick sauce. Uh, not too buttery or you don't want it to break. Um, and then basically we, we had a fryer back here. We threw the wings in on 350 on the grease for about 10 minutes or until they're at uh, 165 degrees. Toss them up and serve. And good stuff. And ready to go. Now, ready to go. what are we looking at right here on the screen? Looks like you're working on some fish right here. So we got some fresh mahi-mahi and uh, we're gonna, we just took some blackening seasoning, uh, lightly blacken it after you rub it down with some olive oil. Uh, the same with a saucepan medium, mm -hmm. uh, medium heat. 
And then we got some tortilla shells, flour tortilla shells in the oven. Pull them out until they're soft. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, the way we serve it at the restaurant. We do lettuce, tomato, shredded cheddar cheese, and we make a house birthday sauce out of fresh tomatitos and jalapenos, uh, fresh cilantro. Put it together, good stuff. <laughs> Man, you got the you got everything working in here now, Gene. You're you're holding down the drink element over there as usual. <laughs> as usual. As, as usual. usual. <laughs> Tell the folks about these bushwhackers. We're Gene. gonna make a pirate bar and grill uh, bushwhacker. Which is uh, which is not quite my original version, but it's okay. just, as, just as good. Sure. So. Um, well, hey, I'm we, happy to try something new. It's, well, it's Friday, you know. It's Friday. We have to do new things. So, so the bosses are still off for the most part due to the holidays. So let's you know let's let's get it going. Let's get wild. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, half a shot of mm -hmm. uh, white rum, half a shot of dark rum, mm -hmm. some coffee liqueur. And I like jeans, how jeans are okay, but ours are a little better. Ah, I mean, so you're we, gonna have to come to Pirates to try them out then. Yes, yeah, so he'll. Have, I'm sure Philip will have a bushwhacker stand open at the Chili and Wing <laughs> yes. cook off. Uh, it's Philip's liquor. We can uh, we can go a little wild here. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he won't mind. He won't mind a bit. So let's talk about the events that are coming up on Dolphin Island. Let's talk about that Chili and Wing cook off. So the Chili and Wing cook off is going to be January uh, the 19th. Uh -huh. It's at Pirates. Philip's uh, graciously hosting again for us this year. Nice work. And uh, all the proceeds from that will benefit the uh, Dolphin Island Elementary, the Little Red Schoolhouse. Right. And. Um, so then after that, coming up, uh, April 20, April 20th is the gumbo cook-off. Ah, you guys always like to base things around food, and there's nothing wrong there's, with that. You eat, you drink, you, you throw things off a of Mardi Gras float. And uh, <laughs> but most importantly, coming up February 2nd and again yeah. February 9th are our two Mardi Gras parades. The two on Mardi Gras parades on Dolphin Island. I'm sure we'll talk more about that in the future. You've got that ready to go. I'm going to let you blend it during commercials coming up here. Uh, this is looking good. We'll come back and we'll throw this all together. It is a food fest here, Michael White. Back in the studio of Tim Kitchen, we got Philip Petronas, we got Gene Fox. Uh, Philip's with the Pirates Bar and Grill. Yes, and uh, Gene is with the uh, Dolphin Island Town Council. And we have finished up uh, what exactly do you call these my friend it's a pirates bushwhacker just the, and just Gene, the pirates bushwhacker yeah pirates bushwhacker we do a coffee liqueur a little light rum calico jack coconut rum uh, chocolate syrup mm. and a shot of Myers and then ice cream mix and uh, really whipped cream good. on top it's great it's a good drink Delicious. I just Gene tried does to a great job with it. <laughs> this is fantastic. And this is something you can order also at Pirates, right? Yes, sir. Every day on the menu. Yes, sir. If you haven't been down there on Dolphin Island, you've got to check that place out. On the water, good hours, music coming back in the spring and yes, in sir. the summertime. And uh, you got an event coming up um, in a couple weeks. Uh, Gene, uh, that event is a, uh, it's a contest, right? That's right. So it's the Little Red Schoolhouse Chili and Wing Cook-Off. And there's a chili category, a wing category, and a whatever the heck you want to cook <laughs> category. I like and uh, I understand that the Bushwhacker Bar will be open, so you can Good. purchase, purchase Bushwhacker. Right. And uh, all the proceeds from the cook-off benefit the Dolphin Island Elementary. So it's a worthy cause and a good time. And whether it's a sunny day or it's cold, either way, we enjoy some wings and a, and a Bushwhacker. And it's $10, right. right? That's right. It's $10, and we'll have all the information on Pirates Bar and Grill or on Fox10.com. And there was something big you wanted to mention too, right? So yeah, coming up after that, we have the Crew de la Dauphine rolls the first Mardi Gras parade of the season on February 2nd on Dolphin Island. And then my project, the uh, Dolphin Island People's Parade. It's a town-sponsored Mardi Gras parade that, you know, anybody can, can join the parade. You sign up through Town Hall and um, you can put in a boat or a float, or a horse, whatever or, uh, you want. You can decorate yourself up, and so we wanted to do something a little bit different for our grand marshal. Uh, no offense to weathermen everywhere that get to be the grand marshal in the parade, but uh, we we wanted something unique. So we have chosen that every year we're going to pick something from the year, the previous year's parade, to be the grand marshal and emblem of the parade, and be on our cup and on the throws. Really? And, yeah. So this year. Uh, we've chosen the king cake babies from last year's parade. If you didn't see them, it's uh, two life-size king cake babies and a Volkswagen thing. It's pretty cool. Oh, that is very unique. And so they're going to lead the parade this year and uh, be on our cups and throws. I think that's really clever. So that is separate from the Crew de la Dauphine parade. That is. So that's that's the KDLD is uh, fantastic. They're on the second. Where the Pro People's Parade is on the ninth. Okay. So if you're interested in signing up for the People's Parade, you just call it contact Dolphin Island Town Hall. 
and we'll get you signed up. You can put your anything you want. It's a great event. It's, Gene, Gene's done a great job with it. I mean, uh, it's a, a, a whole group it working on that one. Small, and I, well, yeah, but I mean, you, you, Dolphin Island would fall apart without this guy. I mean, really <laughs> he's, he's got his hands in everything. I really like the fact that, you know, we've, we've just had Christmas. We're talking New Year's, and now we've already, we're gearing up for, we're talking Mardi Gras in about a month. You know, because La Fine is the first parade to roll, and it ends, uh, I believe, early March. Isn't that when Fat yes, Tuesday is? I think, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really early in, in March, and so it's you got to be on the ball for this kind of stuff. you got to, before Christmas, we're going to be talking about chili and wing cook-off, and then, yeah. holy moly, oh, who are we going to get to be in this Mardi Gras parade, you know? The next so, you know, events never stop. And then summer, and then we do it all over again. Right. Well, guys, this is great stuff, and uh, for more information on uh, Pirates Bar and Grill, uh, yes, where can people go? Uh, PiratesBarandGrill.com. Uh, we have a big following on our Facebook, Pirates Bar and Grill. Uh, you can find us. Sounds there. great. Yes, uh, Gene, I, I hope you guys have big success with that event. Well, thank, thank you. So and listen, we hope to see the Fox 10 float again in the right. Dolphin Island Mardi Gras Parade this oh, yeah. year. Oh, yeah. People's our, Parade. Our GM is a resident of the old DI, so uh, something tells me it might it might make an appearance down there again. Very awesome. good. Just That's got great. a hunch. That's well, great. thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate Thank it. I hope so you much. do both Appreciate have a very you. happy yes, New Year. Happy Absolutely. New year. Awesome. And we'll have the info on Fox10TV.com under the Studio 10. Tab. Joe and I will be back to wrap up this edition of Studio 10 next. Thanks.